me. Fuck around and make a shower on me. Make a shower on me. Keep on acting like you have emotion. And Jill, had you ready to crash out like that? It ain't nothing like the first day I put my lips on you. It ain't nothing like the first day that you let me kiss on you.
Y'all, they have silk, oh, cold foam. I have to get this. Cinnamon caramel. I'm gonna try to make a cute little drink. This is the one y'all are supposed to be drinking. 100% cranberry juice, not cranberry juice cocktail. We got all the groceries upstairs and now we're about to unbox them. I don't even think I did an intro yet. So what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Honey K and make sure you subscribe because we live over here. Period. Okay, you guys. So today is Friday and it's like 6 p.m. But it's so dark outside. So I went grocery shopping and got a few things and I thought why not do a haul with y'all. We got some pineapple. I literally got one banana because I don't really like bananas, y'all. So I literally only get these for my smoothies in the morning. And other than that, they will all go bad if I get more than one. So it's pointless. So I'd be getting one banana. And then I got some strawberries, an avocado, two limes, two lemons, and a green Granny Smith apple. I have not had Starbucks since the whole boycott. And... I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to get hard not to because there's more Starbuckses in Los Angeles than any other coffee shop for one. And sometimes I'll be having to go out my way, but at the grocery store, I'm not gonna lie. This was the only option that they had that was pumpkin and it was Starbucks. I had to get it. Like I'm just, I don't know, I guess I guess I'm not boycotting anymore. It's the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. And I want to make me some pumpkin spice latte drinks. White cran peach. Have y'all tried that before? I've never had it. I'm going to try it. Hopefully it's busting. Then I got 100% cranberry juice. Not the cocktail juice, baby. If you know, you know. Some vinegar. And I got some coconut water. Coconut water got a lot of benefits, y'all. If y'all ain't know. Look, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Coconut water has... On the nutrition facts, it got calcium, it got potassium, it got vitamin C, it got phosphorus, it got magnesium. Coconut water is good for you. Belgian style waffles. These y'all, y'all, these taste just like the waffle at Jamba Juice. And when I make my smoothies in the morning, I can have me a little Belgian waffle with my smoothie like I would do at Jamba Juice. Like it's Jamba Juice at home. These mini corn on the cobs. Variety pack of oatmeal. That one is the apple spice, maple, brown sugar, and cinnamon and spice. And then I got the other variety pack because it was like two for five. So I got the strawberry and cream, peaches and cream, blueberries and cream, and bananas and cream. And then I got these breakfast, these Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls. They be like quick, you know. Sometimes if I'm in a rush in the morning, I just want to microwave me something real quick. Then that's what I'm going to do, okay? And then I got me some crunchy coconut shrimp. This came with sweet chili sauce. And then I got the crunchy butterfly shrimps too. Then I got some petite red skin potatoes. Jimmy Dean sausage. The thick and fluffy Eggo waffles. I like these better than the 
original Eggos lasagna pasta noodles because I want to make this pasta. I felt like these were kind of cute for fall, like a fall arrangement kind of, in my opinion, like the colors. I thought it was cute, so I'm going to put these in a vase. Then we got some Nature Valley protein bars. I got that oat cold foam. It's cinnamon and caramel. So I got this to go with my pumpkin spice latte. And then I just got like a couple noodles. Because sometimes I just need something quick to eat. So I got the hot and spicy chicken noodles. But this is like the least spicy you can get. Because I really don't like spicy stuff. And then I got some heavy whipping cream for when I make my pasta. I got some coconut... Chobani Greek yogurts. I love haagen -Dazs, however you say it. I love their ice cream. It said vanilla caramel pecan. I said, what? I've never heard of that one. I gotta try that one. <laughs> vanilla caramel pecan. Oh, that sounds good. I wanna try it. Chobani Flips. This is the almond cocoa loco. I love this flavor so much. Cinnamon rolls. I got some Nutella. Y'all, I got this Nutella because... I seen this girl eating Nutella and strawberries, and I was like, I don't remember if I like Nutella or not. But then I was at the grocery store, and I was like, I should have just tried it. I'm going to just try it. I don't remember if I like it or not, so hopefully I like it because I bought it. And then I got some ground turkey, and then we got a case of waters, and I'm about to put everything away now. So I got my flowers here, and I got my ice in my vase already. Y'all know I be putting ice in there. So y'all, I'm trying to decide if I want to go to work tonight or not. It is Friday night. And I haven't been going to the club. So I'm like, do I want to go tonight? I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to just go tonight though. I don't think I'm going to work the whole weekend. I think I'm going to just do tonight. <sighs> I'm trying to see what I want to do, y'all. Like, I really don't want to go and waste my time doing my makeup and all of that, you know? But I do want to make a little extra money because I'm about to go on the trip. So I'm like, I could make me a couple extra little dollars, you know? Let me tell you, the place I'm going, you cannot go here on a budget. You can't. You have to go ready to spend some money, y'all. And I'm learning that as I'm booking all of my stuff. But it's going to be such a nice trip. Like, I really wish I had a videographer coming. But I'm going to really try to get the best footage for y'all. And the group of girls that's going, it's such a good group. I just know we're going to have a great time. Also, y'all, I kind of wanted to make, like, a comment. Because somebody had commented under my video and was like, and how I sometimes tend to say, like, superficial things. Such as... 555 on the clock you know angel number stuff zodiac sign stuff oh it's so cute i like this i don't know why it just gives fall vibes to me i think it's the colors this is cute some of them were shorter so i had just put them at the bottom as a person who believes in god you're supposed to only believe in him and you're not supposed to believe in the superficial things such as zodiac signs and all of that right which I definitely know that and when I say like oh I'm a Sagittarius or oh this or like angel numbers and things like that I'm not like praising them y'all I don't like believe in those to the point where I'm like praising them if you understand what I'm saying like God is the only thing that I praise I have one God and my one God is a very jealous God and I do not worship anything else. I just wanted to say that. I like, I do look into things, but I don't worship them, praise them, like nothing like that. I just look into it, if that makes sense. If that don't make sense to you, then it just don't make sense to you. I don't know, but I don't praise or worship anything else. All of this angel number and zodiac stuff, it's just for fun. Yeah, just wanted to clear that up real quick. But I'm going to edit this sponsorship video that I have to do real quick. And then I'm going to end up getting ready for work. So we are going to go to work tonight. Whatever. Like, why not? I'm going to just go. 
So we're gonna go to work tonight, see how it is. After I edit this sponsorship, I'm gonna chill for a little bit and then start getting ready for work. So I'll check back in with y'all before I start getting ready. Check this out, yeah. All I know is paper, baby. You know what I'm about. Hey, I've been ballin' crazy lately, that's without a doubt. Yeah. Major labels calling, got them watching like a scout. Yeah. Tell them I need 10, kill them more with no cap. Yeah. If they wanna do it, we can do it right now. Yeah. Diamonds in my mouth, they let you know I'm from the south. Yeah, this young nigga is very hard to pull me out. Yeah, I really know some and we'll take you off the map. Yeah, I be iced out. Uh, Got a pound, yeah. water, 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 hold up, baby, don't drown. Yeah. I be wildin' out, I got a cannon on me now. You know what I'm about, yeah, I've been about it since a child. Uh, ballin' all the time, hating, talking foul. Yeah, I be wildin' out, I got a cannon on me now. You know what I'm about, yeah, I've been about it since a child. Uh, ballin' all the time, hating, talking foul. Yeah, cause I got that iron and he ain't the one to try. Nah, unless you wanna. And it's not a lie, yeah. I hop out every time with that guy right on my side, yeah. Run up with surprise, you just met the knife, yeah. I hold it down, cause I'm real humble and bad, yeah. Money keep on piling, money keep on piling, hey. Come check this out, yeah. All I know is paper, baby, you know what I'm about, hey. I've been ballin' crazy lately, that's without a doubt, yeah. Major labels calling, got them watching like a scout, yeah. Tell them I need 10, Sitting pretty in my sundress Me veo bonita, I could care less No pienses que me impresionaste Okay guys, so I'm all ready to go. I'm gonna wear my hair down like this tonight in these braids. This will be my first night actually going to work with these braids and not having my own customer come in tonight. So, so we'll see what the braids are giving. I feel cute even with my braids and we gonna make a bag tonight. So let's go to work and see what Friday night is talking about y'all. it's saturday morning and well it's afternoon it's actually like 1 30 but it's my morning i'm starting my morning y'all 
So anyways, I did not do my money count last night. I'm gonna do it right now, but I am gonna make me something to eat first. And I wanted to make myself a glass of coffee. So I'm gonna try the pumpkin spice latte that I got yesterday at the grocery store that I showed y'all. I'm gonna try to make it like a cute little drink though. So I'm gonna start off with caramel syrup. So we got the caramel syrup all around the cup and then I'm gonna put some ice in my cup I want to get that ice tray that makes like the circle ice cubes I think those are so cute or like maybe little hard ones that's so cute it's extra but it's cute um, okay and then I'm gonna add my my pumpkin spice latte hopefully it's good Am I supposed to shake it? Yeah, shake, spray, mix this milk in here. ground cinnamon on top it's giving I'm at a cafe it's giving I'm at a cafe stop playing with me like be for real period pumpkin spice latte at home with oat milk and cinnamon caramel cold foam so let's give it a try y'all I'm gonna take a picture of it really quick all right y'all taste test Stir it all up. So good. So freaking good. Oh, this is better than Duncan. 10 out of 10. This is good. Mmm. And I'm about to make me something to eat real quick. What do I want to make to eat though? Oh, y'all, tonight I'm going to make these lemon pepper wings I made the other day. <sighs> Busting. So good. I'm going to make them tonight. Oh, I'm going to have to make homemade french fries though. Because I don't got no, um, no frozen fries. But that's fine. I can make homemade french fries. But I really don't know what I want to eat right now. Let me put this stuff away. What do I want to eat right now though? Hmm. I hate when I'm like hungry AF and I don't have no appetite. Like I don't know what I want to eat. I'm like really hungry right now too and I don't have like a taste for anything. Mm. I don't know. Let me figure it out, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I ate my breakfast and now I'm going to do my money count for last night. And I'm going to tell y'all how my night went. Y'all know the routine. So today is Saturday. Like y'all know, I'm not working tonight. Um, I honestly thought about it, but I don't really like working Saturdays anymore because I don't like to be feeling too tired to go to church. Like, and I really want to edit today and tomorrow so that my video could be ready to go up. That's what I'm going to do, y'all. I think we had a decent night. I think I, I for sure made my minimum at least. I would have had more. But we'll get into all of that. So, basically, I get to work. I was feeling cool with my braids, y'all. I was like, I'm still going to make some money with these braids. Honestly, last night, I kind of was looking at my braids and I was like, I actually like these braids. Like, I will definitely get braids again. My forehead is not that big. Because <laughs> I'm going to make a hair appointment soon. And I was like, dang, I got to take my braids out. And I low-key don't want to take my braids out. Like, I like these braids. But I got to take them out. So I got to work. And when I got there, I was just chilling, waiting for the money to come in. And I want to say like 20 minutes in, um, a LA artist had came in there. He's actually really known or whatever. I'm not really going to drop no names. I stopped doing that a long time ago. A rapper came into the club. And I just knew they was going to throw a bag. But I'm not going to hold you. Nothing in me 
was telling me like, go try to be in that section. So the whole club lined up trying to get in that section. I'm sitting at the table waiting for some more money to come in because it just wasn't given. And one of my homegirls came over there and was telling me like, oh, they came in here last time. They finna throw a bag. I'm like, oh, okay, period. She like, yeah, they just ordered seven bottles. I'm like, damn. The way I think about it is the amount of girls that's finna be on that bag, I could probably make that same money elsewhere by myself without having to split a bag with them and that's why i like working by myself sometimes and not always being in sections because it's like i could i could go when i want to go and i don't gotta split money with nobody i don't gotta deal with nobody i'm just making my money you know so after they picked their girls and stuff there was like more people coming in the club and then i noticed like one of the dudes that was in the section i actually know him so i had said what's up to him or whatever but he didn't have no say so over the wristbands at all and i knew that so i said what's up to him and kept going by my night and then i noticed like three other sections came in all at the same time so i'm looking at the sections i came in and i see like one of them i know one of the guys so i'll go over there i'm saying hi to him or whatever he like, oh yeah, we here for my homegirl birthday. I see he got a thousand in his hand. And then the birthday girl had also told me that she was waiting on her dude to get some money. She was hella cool. She was like real lit though. So she wasn't even the one passing out the wristbands. Her boyfriend ended up being the one passing them out. And unfortunately, I sat over there for like 20 minutes waiting for them to get their wristbands and pick their girls. All for them to say... They came for specific dancers and they gave the wristbands to those dancers. I really, really hate when customers don't just let it be known from the start. Like, oh, we know exactly who we want. We good, y'all. Like, they will literally let you sit over there and talk to them knowing that I'm here trying to talk to you to get on this bag. And you know that you're here for specific people. Just say it. Like, if you are a customer in the club and you know you are there for one specific person or two specific people whatever the case may be and you're not open to like just don't waste the dancer's time like please don't because that time i could have been trying to get into another section so i ended up missing out on well i don't want to say missing out because i don't even know if i would have got picked for those sections but i ended up missing out on an opportunity to go try to get in those two other sections even though those two other sections didn't really throw a bag or anything i didn't miss out on nothing for real it's just the principle you know i like to try to use my time the best way i can while i'm in the club for these four little hours you know i was in there for three but still for the three little hours i am in here i want to make sure i'm trying everybody you know that's the best way to make as much money as you can you got to try everywhere like you got to try to talk to everybody all of that because you never know so after they wasted my little 20 minutes so then i noticed my homegirl had came and i was talking to her for a little bit she was trying to decide if she wanted to work or not and then when i was talking to my homegirl there was another table that came in i'm talking to the dude or whatever and he like oh yes yeah, my homie birthday y'all why the same exact thing freaking happened basically they get their wristband the guy that i'm talking to like oh i'm not picking the girls so why did you he was like oh i would have picked you like but i didn't know i had to give you a wristband he like you could still dance right here without a wristband i said no i can't so i was like you could tell your homie to give me one of the wristbands he still have one he like oh i'm just gonna let him pick i just walked away do i let that get to me no because they threw 300 dollars on five girls y'all got it it wasn't meant for me to be right there no way so then I go back to talking to my homegirl real quick, go to the back, look at myself, freshen up a little bit, come back out. I try a guy at the, that I see at the bar. He got like $200 in his hand. He like, oh, I'm finna get some ones. I'm like, oh, okay, uh, you can get them over there. We talking for a little bit. He like, I'm gonna get some ones in a minute. He was like, actually, let me get some more money. Where the ATM at? I was like, it's right here. It was literally right on the side of me, y'all. I'm like, it's right here. He like, oh, okay, I'm finna go there right now. I'm like, okay. So I'm waiting. He not going nowhere. I'm like, you was going to get more ones right now? Or he was like, yeah, in a second. I'm like, okay. So then I just turn around. I'm looking I'm looking around like, what, what else is going on? Because like, you're finna waste my time and it's just not giving. So I'm looking around. I end up seeing two guys that I met at a flower event that I did. And I was like, what's up? Like, I remember you from the event. And he had told me one time he was going to come see me at the club too, but he never came. 
And so I was like, what a coincidence. I see you here. I was like, you were supposed to come up here for me. What happened to that? He was like, nah, I really put up here last minute. I'm with my homie. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember you too. He told me he was saying like, he remember me. We was all talking. I see they had some money in their hand. So I'm like, I'm finna dance. So I started dancing y'all. Every single dollar that's in my bag is from them. Literally every dollar. I danced for them the whole night. So they started off with 200. They was drinking and stuff. We was talking. I was talking to them, to them about my birthday trip coming up. Like it was just cool. They really cool. I remember they had got like $400 more and I went to go get the ones for them. And when I went to go get the ones for them and I came back, as soon as he was like about to throw the money, this Spanish girl hopped right there on his homie and started dancing on his homie. His homie started throwing money on her. So she automatically on my bag now. I was, I was low key irritated because I'm like, this 400 was for me. Like they got the money for me and you just hopped on it. Obviously she hustling. And I was going to be like, hey, babe, you could do that separately. Like, the rest is going to be mine. But I'm just like, let me not even do that because it's two of them. It's two of us. We could both dance on them. I'm like, whatever. I'm going to just dance. So I'm dancing. They throwing the money. They threw the whole 400 on us. And then after that, I had said bye to them or whatever. I told them I was going to walk around the club. They was going to leave anyways. So I walked around, did like two little laps, trying to see what else, what other money I could make. It was really nothing else going on. After I did my two little laps around the club, I was like, all right, I'm finna just go home. I'm kinda getting tired. I mean, it could have been some last minute money, but I really wasn't pressed, y'all. I really wasn't. So this the money, y'all. I'ma guess it's like, I'ma guess this is like, I really want it to be at least 500, at least my minimum. So I'ma say this is 500. Let's see. So this is our money count. We got one, two, three, four, five, and then leftover fifty-seven. So we made five fifty-seven on a Friday, and that was a hundred and fifty dollar house fee. And I worked for three hours, so five fifty-seven on a Friday, and I did tip out. I tipped out like forty dollars. Our final money count is 557. I don't know how it is for other people, but for me personally, when I make money fast, quick, easy, it's like I want to do it again. And I want to do it again and again and again. So when I say like, oh, I'm going to take the night off to edit a video. Sometimes I really, really want to take the night off and stay home and edit a video. But sometimes... I really want to just be like, I'm going to go make a quick little bag real quick. Like, I don't really want to edit this video. But in the long run, that's where the discipline come in at with this YouTube stuff, you know? When I get back in that hustle mode, I be in that hustle mode. But also, some of y'all have, like, reached out to me and asked me, like, oh, can you give us, like, some tips? Some tips on, like, how you save. Like, I did that 22K challenge, y'all know. And that did take discipline. Like, I had to lock in with myself. Saving $22,000 in three months is not something that everybody can do. So it was like, I was really proud of myself and the way I was able to like stay focused and discipline myself. And I feel like a lot of the times that's what comes with saving money. A lot of people don't have that self-discipline. They don't have that that thought process. I get messages all the time from dancers that say like they feel like they're in a cycle of having to continuously work every single day because they don't have that discipline or maybe they're just in a lot of debt i don't know i'm fortunate enough to have had the knowledge of taking care of my priorities and responsibilities and the way i came into the game as a dancer so a lot of the times i feel like dancers will go into dancing and be like i'm gonna make this money right back tomorrow i made this four thousand today i'm gonna go spend this four thousand tomorrow then I went to go buy me a Dior bag. 
why would you do that? <laughs> like, sometimes dancers be having that mentality, you know? You can possibly make that money right back, right? But at the same time, that you spent on that bag could have been in your savings account, ready to go towards that business that you were thinking about doing. That 4K you just had the other night, you could have had 8K because you made it right back, right? But instead of spending it, you could have had that 8K. If I can't buy something more than two times, you probably shouldn't buy it. You know, like it be priorities. I feel like that's where a lot of people mess up at. That's like one of my tips, I would say, as a dancer that people should really consider and think about. Don't have that mentality of I'm finna make it right back because you might not. And then you end up drowning yourself in a luxury lifestyle living above your means because you feel like you're continuously making money. And when you have a slow month or you want to take a month off, you can't. You can't afford a slow month or you can't afford to take a month off because you're living beyond your means and you're in debt. And now you might need to go sell that bag that you just bought. If you can't pay your rent for at least a year, you need to reevaluate some things. Don't get me wrong though, like, I'm not a financial advisor. Never said I was. As a dancer, I definitely think every dancer should have at least one year worth of emergency money put up but if you guys have any finance tips for the girls leave them down below in the comments i might need some extra tips too i'm not perfect never said i was i love my comment section because i feel like we could all learn from each other and the girls be dropping things in the comment section all the time that i learn from based off of what i just said about having that money put up to where you will be able to be okay financially that's one of my problems money can be sitting but it's not generating me more money it's not doing anything for me but life is a playground you gotta play with it i'm gonna take the risk because i wouldn't be where i am today if i didn't take those risks when i take that risk and it works i'm gonna keep doing it because it works and if it don't work then i'm not gonna do it no more obviously right so you gotta get out there you gotta play around with stuff y'all y'all gotta just try stuff gotta see what works for y'all if it works for y'all keep doing it multiply it make it work even more you know life is about learning i'm 26 and i'm learning every day i'm never gonna stop learning one thing about me i love to learn new things teach me something you know so yeah y'all that's just a little tip real quick i wanted to tell y'all even non-dancers always have some money put up for sure are so good and y'all for my drink i'm gonna try the white crayon peach let's see what it's talking about it just looked like it's gonna taste good i really don't know what i would rate it 
it's like it's cool it's like a five out of ten it's whatever would i get it again probably not i'm so mad i didn't have no flats this was just like a quick little meal so good i have to put some barbecue sauce on the side for my french fries y'all i'm watching this documentary I love watching documentaries like I love documentaries honestly don't put them in the comments because I don't need to watch nothing else I need to edit that's what I need to do I need to stop watching documentaries I get lost in them y'all like I just watched the one about Casey White and Vicky White that documentary had me like damn because a nigga in jail had you ready to crash out like that Damn. Like the ending was weird because like did she really shoot herself? He kept saying, is my wife okay? I felt, it was like I felt bad for him. I don't know. I Them 11 days they had together, it sucks because it's really like those 11 days of freedom that that man had cost that lady her life. <sighs> Dang. Then I start thinking like, did he really love her for real? I wish it could have been a happily ever after story, but then I'd be like, well, he was a murderer, so. But I'm gonna end this video here. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure y'all showing love so I can keep dropping for y'all. Make sure y'all liking the video. Make sure y'all commenting. Make sure y'all still showing love so that way we can keep the two uploads a week. Y'all, if y'all want to keep it going, y'all got to keep the energy, keep interacting. Y'all got to keep showing love if y'all want to keep it going. So make sure you don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like I said, make sure you go watch some of my other videos because who don't want to watch my videos? Everybody want to watch my videos, period. Love you guys.